but I will heal them and lead them. I will give full comfort to them and to those who mourn for them, the Creator who gave them life. Peace, peace to the far and the near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. The word of the Lord.
that God did not desire that to be our condition, but he wanted us to know life, to have hope, to live in his joy. And so he had prepared everything for that moment when the people of God, their hearts, though distance, were ready to turn to him. Still not completely satisfied, she continued to think over that question, and the professor tried one more time. And he just said, you know, very practically, it was fitting that Christ came when he did, because, you know, the peace that the Roman Empire had provided made it so that the message of Christ, the message of the gospel, could spread throughout the known world. And so it was fitting that at a time in humanity where the message, the salvation that he brought could spread, that's when he would come. She was still not completely satisfied and continued to think over that question. She went home and after the next class, she came back to the professor and she said, I think I figured it out, why Jesus came exactly when he did. And she said it was because of the good thief. The one who died next to Christ needed everything to happen just as it did so that he could come to salvation. He could have his moment of mercy and forgiveness next to the Lord. And it's interesting, but that student, that young student had a great insight into the love of Christ. That it's actually not absurd to think that he would do everything exactly as he did, when he did, for that one soul. Because that is how much he loves each and every one of us. That is how much he loves Kevin. And so ultimately, our prayer then brings us to hope the hope in eternal life, the consolation that our faith can give us in a moment, in a time of sadness. And so, again, we give thanks for Kevin. We continue to keep him and all who mourn his loss in our prayers, and we look to our Lord Jesus Christ for the hope and consolation that his love brings us. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is truly risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident in this, we lift up our prayers and needs. With hope, we lift up Kevin, who was given the promise of eternal life and baptism. May he rest and rejoice in God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased members of the Cook family, especially Kevin Sr., as we remember him today on his birthday, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For priests, religious, and all those we call on in times of life and death, Lord, give them strength and peace in their calling. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For faith and courage in the difficulties of life that we each may be called to face. May Kevin's witness and intercession give us the strength. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater respect for all human life, from conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering with loneliness, that Jesus' divine mercy would give them joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us be seated for the preparation of the altar. Number 712, the King of Love, my shepherd, is number 712.
as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Kevin. We beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your Son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed and not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. mystery of faith. We proclaim with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Teresa and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Dennis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant, Kevin, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. When you will wipe away every tear from our eyes, for seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Kevin may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our farewell express our affection for it, may it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself.